Hey, Math 43, I had a question coming out of the chapter one homework number 73. So I have here like the book problem, and then when we look down here, you're gonna see the, the write-up, my solutions, but I wanna go over some of the phrasing that we should kind of like latch on to, to, to start to figure out which type of sampling method we have. And keep in mind, we ultimately have five of them, right? We have the SRS, you have the stratified sample, you have the cluster sample, you have the systematic sample, and then you have the good old convenience sample. And I think these are probably the two that are hardest to distinguish between because they both involve groups, but it's how you deal with those groups that differs, or I should say differentiates the two methods. So in strata, this is when you take some from each group. And in clustering, you take all of some groups. And that's the big, the big um, distinguisher, like I said. So this, if you're stratifying, you actually have to go to every group. And when you're clustering, you only have to go to some of the groups. It's just when you get there, you're going to survey everybody in that group. So let's go through this and see if we can pinpoint these sampling methods. So let me delete this. All right. So if you look on this, this first one here, let me change the, the pen color so we can distinguish. So for part A, right, this woman's hold, passing out... Um, questionnaires and it says right here that she asks the travelers that are sitting near the gates and not taking naps and that is a, a convenience sample right and so that's where you see me putting um, down here at the bottom right there's no randomization in this method she's just looking for the easiest possible sample happens to the best of us all right the next one we have this teacher who wants to know if her students are doing homework so you can see that she groups them oops let me go so she's she's got these groups right and by groups i mean she's doing she's breaking them into rows and she picks out of i don't know how many rows there are but rows 2 and 5 and you see this key phrase here that she took all of the group uh, all of the students in some of the groups right so she or i don't know if it said she yeah it gave pronouns of her so all of the students in some of the rows. So that one's going to be clustering. So let me start writing here. This was convenience. This is cluster, right? And if I scooch this down a little bit, you're going to see me, um, you're going to see the phrase all pop up, right? All students. I, I wrote it there. The next one says you're going to go to each, oh, we're talking about a manager um, and they want to know about the ages of their country. So they're going to go, not of their country, <laughs> of their customers. They're going to go to each store location, right? And then they're going to get a hundred folks from each group. And that's where you see we're taking some from each group. And so we are grouping, right? We're grouping by location, but we're doing some from each. So this is going to be stratified. And if I scooch this down a bit, you see me saying that, hey, we're going to each location, so we're getting some from each. Um, the next one, if we take a look, the, the key phrase there is the every fourth patron. Whenever that happens, we're talking about a systematic sample, all right? Because systematically, you take every third, every fourth, every fifth. Um, and then the last one, um, they're saying that you've got 1,200 randomly selected phone numbers. So you're just, you're doing a simple random sample at that point. And... If I scooch up there, you can see all of my answers there. Um, so there wasn't any grouping. I didn't see anything about every Kth person, but they did tell, tell us it was going to be random. And you can make phone numbers a simple random sample if you're just randomly selecting numbers from a random digit table or a random digit um, algorithm on a calculator. So there's number 73. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.